Welcome back to Smiles and God, I'm Deloitte and I hope that you had a wonderful week since the last time I saw you. Today we're talking about one of my favorite stories in the Bible. It's found in Mark 14 and we're going to look at verses 22 through 27. This story is about Jesus walking on the sea to save his disciples from a storm that they found themselves in. In verse 22 we read that Jesus sent them ahead of him in a boat to cross the sea. Now I want you to make sure that you recognize here because this really stood out for me they obeyed the voice of jesus they listened to what he said and later on found themselves in a difficult situation sometimes while we are in the will of god storms and trials will come but we need not worry because we are in the will of god so verse 23 says while jesus sent the multitudes away when they were gone he went up to a mountain by himself to pray. This is another thing that we really need to take note of. Spending quality time with God is important for our growth as Christians and for us to become like Jesus. Think about your best friend or the person that you know the best. You know them that well because you've spent a lot of time with them. For you to know Jesus and God really well, spending time is very important. Verse 24 now tells us, but the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. Remember, they obeyed Jesus' voice, and that's why they found themselves in a boat in contrary winds in the middle of the sea. The middle of the sea to me is significant here because if they were just close to the shore, they could easily jump out of the boat and get on dry land and they would be fine. If they were a little ways from the shore, they could probably jump out of the boat. And even though the winds and the waves were crazy, they may be able to swim back to shore. But where they were, they could not save themselves. Only a miracle from God and divine intervention could make a difference in their situation. Your little boat may be in the middle of a sea right now and the winds and the waves may be very contrary. Know that if Jesus sent you there, He's about, as we read in verse 25, he's about to do something really, really great in your life. Verse 25 says, Now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. Ha! Fourth watch of the night. If you read this in the Amplified Bible, it tells you that this is between 3 and 6 a.m. At the point in your life where you find yourself completely winded and exhausted from the trials and the struggles of life, the storms of life, that's the time when Jesus shows up. When he sees that you cannot do it anymore, he will come walking on the sea. Now verse 26 is a very practical text for me because verse 26 says, and when the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were troubled saying, it is a ghost and they cried out for fear. Sometimes in life, our troubles cause us to be blinded, and the very blessing that God is giving to us, the very deliverance that he is bringing into our lives, we mistake it for a curse, and we think that it's something bad. However, if we ask God to take the scales away from our eyes and to just give us clear vision, we would be able to see that it's not a curse, it's a blessing. And he would be able to show us how we can still remain calm and peaceful in the midst of the crazy storms. Verse 27 is really hopeful. It says, But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Do not be afraid. Jesus is saying the same thing to you and I today. Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Winds, waves, storms, craziness, there's a lot going on. And all these things could cause us to be blinded, not see Jesus properly, not see that even the very storms are there to make us better and to bring us into closer harmony with God. Because remember, Jesus sent them there, they got into a storm, and when they experienced that, they were able to see the power of God. Don't shy away from the storms of life. Don't be afraid to go through them. Because, because, if Jesus is with you, if he's coming to you at the fourth watch, know that you'll be fine. 
It's only in the lion's den do we know that he can close the mouths of the lion. It's only in the furnace that we know that he could be in the midst of a fire and people come out of the fire and not even smell like fire. If you found yourself in the middle of a storm right now and you're wondering when you're going to get out, I'm encouraging you. Just as I encourage myself through the word of God, just hold on. Trust in Jesus. Look for him in the fourth watch and know that he's coming to say, be of Good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Listen for that still small voice that is saying to you right now. Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Can I pray with you before we go? Father and our God, we thank you so much for your love for us. We thank you, God, that you are able to bring us through the storms that you send us into. We thank you that when we are at our lowest and we have no strength, that's when you show up to rescue us. We thank you that in the impossible situations, you are able to reveal your power, your love, your grace, and your mercy and bring glory and honor to your name. God, I don't know what your child that's listening right now is going through. I don't know the winds or the waves. I don't know the storm. But I know the God of the storm and I pray that you, God, will reveal yourself to your child so that this person may be able to recognize, to realize, and to believe that you are able. Help them to hear you say, be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. Thank you, God, for all that you do in and through us and thank you for what you are doing for us even now. Keep us faithful until that glorious day when you come and help us to realize that it's not far away. Keep our eyes on you and keep our hearts fixed. In your name I pray with thanksgiving. Most High Savior, Amen. Until I see you next week, stay safe. Next week we'll be looking at the rest of this passage where Peter asks Jesus to come and walk on the water with him. I'll see you. Bye.